All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. This is your reading for October 25th. Let's see where we're going. I have a little dog trying to get into my pocket. No, no way. No way. Go lay down, Maze. All right. So let's see where we're going today. This is for the collective. We are in this last full week of October. I'm doing the November readings right now. Uh, having a little contest, the November readings, whichever sign gets the most likes, I'm going to do a bonus reading for them. So uh, head on over to all of the uh, November readings. I'm in the middle of recording them, so they're not all up right now, but smash that like button if you get a chance. Also, those of you who have been in our tarot certification, you know the site is live. So um, those of you who have been wanting to take my tarot class and do my tarot certification, there are links below if you want to jump onto that program. Okay. All right. Let's see where we're going today. I just saw the message card. What is wanting to come through today, please? Oh yeah. Courage. I've been seeing that Leo card a lot. Courage. Here we are on the verge of Scorpio season. Nope. We're in Scorpio season. In Scorpio season right now, not in November yet though. Grounded, all right. Um, so I feel like it's taken you a long time to get here, uh, whoever's gonna resonate with this message today. And uh, <sighs> congratulations. I feel like some of you, this has been a really long hike. We could talk about Pluto being in Capricorn since 2008. Pluto is about ready to move into Aquarius at the beginning of January or end of January, the beginning of 2024. At the end of January, it's going to move into Aquarius and that is going to be a very different energy. So um, however, take a look back to 2008. Give yourself some credit. Okay, give yourself some credit. Some of you have achieved a lot over the last 15 years. Okay, Pluto goes slow, right? It takes a long time for, uh, for Pluto to go through a sign. And Pluto is going to um, go into Aquarius at the end of January next year in 2024. And then next year we will see it move back into Capricorn just for a short time. And then it's going to be in Aquarius like for the next 15 years. So look back this year in 2023, what was going on between... Um, like March, April, May, June into July, even the July 17th was a big day. We had the uh, Cardinal Grand Cross happening that day. So between like March and that July 17th, what popped up in your life? What showed up again? What is needing your attention? And then does it go back underground for a while? Maybe, maybe because we were back in that um, in that moment in time. Um, when Pluto was in Aquarius, it went into Aquarius for a very short period of time this year. And that giving you, that's giving you a little preview of what you can expect for the next 15 years. So pay attention. If you do journal, good time to go back and look and see what was going on. Okay. So underneath is the 10 of wands, three of cups, five of swords, the emperor, the star. I am saying to you right now, I think a lot of you are to be congratulated. You have really overcome either some tendency to overdo things, codependency, enmeshment, something like that. You have really overcome this. And also, I feel like you've become a, a very good steward of your own power. Um, we have uh, definitely this Pluto energy in Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. That's some very strong energy. And I think some of you who have worked with it, you know, I can look back to 2008 and then from 2008 all the way until 2016, there was a couple themes that I was working with. And then in 2016, 2017, this channel was born in 2017 and woo, like lots of different kinds of things happening. So big changes in my life over the course of the last, since 2008, um, and uh, learning the lessons of narcissism, dealing with a lot of narcissistic partners, toxic partners, abusive partners, uh, big changes in me. If you look back to, I'm not even close to being the same person I was in 2008. How about you? How about you? Let's take a look. All right. So lovers, nine of cups, wheel of fortune, 
King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Look at that. Ten of Swords, Strength, and the Seven of Pentacles. So I want to say one thing about this Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, sometimes you can look at it. This is the past anyway. You can look at it like defeat or betrayal or something like that. But the Ten of Swords is the final uh, and you can say that about the Ten of Wands to any of the Tens. And we do have a Wheel of Fortune here, which is another Ten. So Tens are one beyond nine, right? The single digits, numerologically speaking, is nine is the end of it. And if you get to Ten, one plus zero is one, back to the beginning. But it doesn't go back to the Ace of Swords. It goes to the Ace of the next suit, which is the Ace of Pentacles. Those of you who take my tarot class, you know all this. So uh, it goes to the Ace of Pentacles, and that's about investing in the next chapter. So something, it's like move on from whatever this is. And I feel like that's a really powerful thing. Here's that strength card. It might take you some courage to do that. And I feel like some of you are really being offered a lot of different, a lot of different things, um, a lot of new options. Here's the 10 of wands and I, same thing with the 10 of swords. So the next ace, I believe, is the ace of cups. So we're going from passion to love. We're moving from a place of um, codependency into something that is a brand new opportunity for a relationship. And I get the three of cups here. There could be a friendship that starts, that turns into love. Um, at whatever it is, you have overcome some pretty toxic things here um, by embracing your own power your own sovereignty, your own leadership, doing the healing work. Some of you are stepping into being healers after learning all of this stuff since 2008. What have you learned? What has become, what are the themes? The last part of this year and into January, this is a really good time to take stock of what has left your life. I am no longer the person who is, has enmeshed friendships. Those don't exist for me anymore. Um, I am no longer the person who gets, you know, kind of manipulated by people. Well, maybe sometimes, but not, but most of the time, if it's happening, like I know it. Okay. It's not like it's a, like a total surprise or anything like that. Uh, it's not fun, but it's not also not a total surprise. So the good news here is that you're moving. The energy of this time is that it's giving us choices to go after what it is we really and truly want. Clearing, clearing out some of these old patterns, coming to the close of this 15 year cycle. And actually we are with this uh, eclipse, the lunar eclipse in Taurus, we're closing out a mini cycle, a cycle that's lasted like two years. And that Taurus energy, uh, the, the, um, the last two years has, have been in the, in the North node in Taurus, South node in Scorpio. So that risk versus safety or security kind of themes have uh, maybe played a role in your life. Um, now moving into the Aries North node and Libra South node and Aries right here is about doing the thing that you're here to do, leadership. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do me kind of a thing. It's me versus we. Um, but I do think that Libra as the South node does give us enough balance to say, I can be in a relationship without it completely swallowing me whole. Do you ever see, um, I, I notice it all the time now when I'm you know, shopping or when I'm um, uh, at a place when there's a lot of people around. Uh, I've just been in London for about 10 days. And so I spent a lot of time walking around the city. And I always notice when there's like, a set of little girls, you know, maybe sixth, seventh grade or something like that. There's always, and you know, they want to dress like each other, but you can always tell who's kind of the alpha. <laughs> you can tell who's the one who's like trying to copy her style. Um, same with relationships. Like you become a two headed monster. Like you can't do anything on your own with your own friends or whatever. I think a lot of those cycles are going to be coming to a close where we become so enmeshed in relationships that we can't tell our, individuality or our boundaries from the other person. And I think that's what the North Node in Aries is about to teach a lot of us, that if you have um, had issues around enmeshment or had issues around, um, you know, difficulty with boundaries, uh, this next 15 years is going to be something that's much more about individuality 
and you know, kind of striking out in a new in a new direction, being uh, in a relationship that's a little new wave, or especially if it shows up in your own personal astrology, it does show up in mine. I'm a um, uh, we talk about this in in my astrology workshop, the progressed suns. Your sun, your birth chart does mature. So I started out as a Sagittarius sun, and now I'm an Aquarius sun because I'm old. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's move it moves one degree the sun moves one degree for every year of life and so it moves into other signs and those are the things that are being you know sort of uh reflected by your lessons and by situations what's cool here is the wheel of fortune here and then i see the king of pentacles and the nine of pentacles this is about your own financial sovereignty too it's about being able to create something independently of maybe independently of other people or being able to hold your own, uh, be able to uh, earn money, be able to be part of a collective, but you still have your own thing. Like if you have a job and you have a side hustle, or if you have a business that you're running and other people are working for you, you're able to sort of uh, not get enmeshed with those other people. You're able to be a leader and not uh, not be um, kind of trampled by other people. Okay, that's a big lesson that's been um, showing up for people. And this really is about sovereignty, about you making some choices. So the first thing is, is to like really get grounded in your, in your own, um, power. All right. That's going to be big for this next little while. Uh, see that you are, some of you are coming to the end of a big, the end of the beginning, right? The, there's like multiple cycles to a business or cycles to a relationship. Some of you are coming to the end of the beginning. So like you could move from, from dating to living together, or living together to getting married, um, married sing, uh, without children to married with children, um, married with children to without children, right? They go to college. Um, there's a cycle of life happening here that is moving. And it's like, um, it doesn't mean like a whole relationship is over, but certainly a, a part of a relationship is over. Okay, so I'm gonna clarify a few things here. <laughs> All right, let's clarify a few things. All right, so the three of, I wanna see about the Wheel of Fortune, please. Wheel of Fortune, okay, he's gone. Um, talk to me about the Wheel of Fortune. What is, where is that going? Ace of Swords, I like that. Clarity, King of Wands, action. Four of Cups, other people's opinions, hanged man. They're just opinions. They're just opinions. Okay. Um, facts are facts, but opinions, everybody's got them. So there's no such thing as I have my facts, you have your facts. You have your opinion, I have my opinion. Okay. And um, two plus two still equals four. So this is really about you getting that clear for yourself that there could have been in either in your work or in relationships, people kind of manipulating you because you are wanting to have something good with a person. You don't have to sacrifice yourself anymore at the altar of someone else's need to be right or need to be, you know, sort of telling you what to do. I feel like this new chapter is much more balanced. And I also think other people may have their opinion. I love Rob, Robert Downey Jr. Who's like, listen, smile, nod, and then do whatever you want to do anyway, right? Like there's a little bit of that. It's like shifting uh, your perspective on things so that when other people have opinions about things, it doesn't mean that you're wrong. It just means other people have opinions, okay? So um, clarify the three of wands for me. King of swords, death. We are in Scorpio time. High priestess and the knight of swords. This is, um, some of you can decide that you've come to the end of something, even though like what I said before about like the end of a cycle, like within a bigger relationship, we, there are little cycles, right? There's like two year cycles. There's 
uh, kinds of cycles that like with with kids, without kids, either before or after after they grow up and they move away, like all that. There's just cycles. And I feel like some of you are coming to the end of kind of an early cycle of something and you've gotten what you need or you've you've you, you know, you've like come to the fruition of it for yourself. Nine of cups, nine of pentacles. You don't want to go to 10. We don't want to make it stagnant. We don't want to do that. So we are going to close out of something. I think some of you are going to come to the end of the beginning and say, that's enough for me. OK, um, some of you have uh, gone into business with a person or a partnership or, you know, been been promoted and everything like that. And you get to a certain level and you're like, OK, this is enough for me. I'm going to go off and have my own business or something like that. It's not premature. But you're also not letting things get to the tens where they get stagnant, when they get overdone, okay? So what is this seven of pentacles here? There's choices to be made. Three of pentacles for sure. Four of pentacles, king of cups, and the six of pentacles. Um, this does have to do with you really reclaiming and redefining for yourself what it is that you want, especially as it relates to money or um investing your time and energy, maybe, uh, maybe some endings or maybe some things have been pretty difficult and, you know, you're just like, no, thank you. I don't want to go down that road again. I'm going to stay single or I'm going to, um, uh, just try something different with this relationship than what I usually do. Right. I'm, I'm starting to get to know myself better. I'm starting to understand my intuition and, and my intuition, I'm, I'm following it more. Right. Uh, some of you have uh, people around you who are really going to help you in the next chapter. A lot of help here with the King of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. You might be the one helping somebody else or they might be helping you or back and forth. It's going to it's going to be nice and flowy. Maybe that's not been your experience in the past, that you were always the one doing everything for everybody else and you never got anything you needed. So this feels like a new direction or a new chapter. Some of you, it will be closing a 15 year cycle. Some of it will be closing a two year cycle. Some of it will be closing a 25 year cycle, right? There's just um, cycles closing right now. And that full moon in Taurus is going to be big time. All right. So let's continue on with this reading. If this is your reading, I'll go deeper into this reading. Let's see where we go. Link is below. See you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.